Hi guys, welcome back to Lewis on Film with me, Lewis. And today we are going off the map with Uncharted. It's been a long process to bring this to the screen. Let's take a look. So based on the phenomenally good Uncharted games, of course, so it is a film adaptation of a game uh, directed by the often reliable uh, Ruben Fleischer, um, who did Zombieland, Venom, Gangster Squad, to name a few, um, starring the lovable Tom Holland, of course, the most recent Spider-Man, um, alongside Mark Wahlberg, Antonio Banderas, Sophia Ali, Tati Gabriel. So just in case you aren't familiar with the games, uh, the story follows Nathan Drake, uh, a descendant of Sir Francis Drake, who is an orphan. Uh, his brother, Sam, uh, they, they were both raised in this orphanage, uh, runs away after, basically flees the law and runs away, leaving Nate alone in this orphanage. Uh, years later, Sully, played by Mark Wahlberg, uh, recruits Nate, um, who's a streetwise kind of not quite a grifter, but, you know, a, a pickpocket and various things, um, to help find the treasure that he and Sam were obsessed with when they were younger. So basically, Sam and Sully were, went looking for it. Sam disappeared. Sully recruits Nate because he believes he can help him find it. Uh, also looking for it are the House of Mankanda, Mankada, Mankada uh, led by Antonio Banderas and the mercenaries he's hired, including Chloe Fraser, who... You know, we don't, we don't know whose side she's on. Now, as a massive fan of the Uncharted games, uh, it, it's kind of hard for me not to look at this in the context of, I know what the games are, let's ignore that, let's look at what the film is. Um, for what the film is, if you aren't an Uncharted fan, I think you'll enjoy it. I think it's... I, I, I didn't not enjoy it, I don't hate it. Perhaps I should, as a, as a fan of the game, but I don't hate it. Uh, it is enjoyable, and if you've never played the games, if you're not familiar with them at all, I think you will find more enjoyment in it. I think you'll go into it and be excited and possibly even want to play the games, which I'm not against. So, that's okay. As a fan of the games, uh, I have to say, first of all, elephant in the room, Mark Wahlberg is in the wrong place. He is the wrong man in the wrong room in front of the wrong audience and I couldn't overlook that. Um, I don't think he and Tom Holland have much chemistry together. Uh, Holland being a younger version of Nate Drake is fine for coming into a film adaptation but he feels out of place. He feels like you, you know he, he feels like he, the, the film isn't set where his story sh it should be set, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, all, all, you know, as the kind of a bit of the story's gone, after the first act, we, we, we meet Chloe Fraser, played by Sophia Ali. So, is it Sophia or Sophia? I'm not sure. I think it's Sophia. Um, who's great, by the way. Um, she's the spotlight stealer here. Um, more on that in a sec, but in terms of that person playing that character, she's the best performer here, I think. Um, it's a fast-paced film. It lands you smack in the middle of the action and then flashes back uh, before we eventually catch up to that particular bit of action again. Um, it's a globe-trotting treasure hunt heist movie and that's not a bad thing um it's got the recipe for a good film adaptation but it seems as though they kind of ignored the recipe used their own ingredients and tried to make it in the same way and that wasn't ever going to quite work out the way they wanted it to uh, they have references from of course you know from indiana jones all the way through to james bond there's a huge set piece at the end, which again is fun, but it it's taken straight from Disney's Treasure Planet um, and influenced as well, I think, by Pirates of the Caribbean to an extent. Um, yeah, it, it's, it just doesn't feel like the games. I know it's not kind of meant to in the regard that um, the, the film needs to stand by itself separately to what the games do but 
you know, you can't expect fans of the game not to come into this and go, well, hang on, that's not right. Um, and the big, the big difference, I think, is that this film feels more Mission Impossible as a treasure hunt than it does an Uncharted film. Uncharted is that it all, it's all from Nathan Drake's perspective. If we don't know something, Nathan Drake, it's because Nathan Drake doesn't know something. And then when we find out, that kind of adds to the character, adds to the mystery, adds to the excitement. It's like, oh, okay, what, what's coming next? Um, and yeah, there's a certain scene that happens on a plane, which is taken straight from Uncharted 3. Um, but when they're actually on the plane, it, 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 it's, it's like, okay, there's a scene that happens that Nate, Nate isn't a witness to. And in the games, he would have been, he, he would have been hidden in the cupboard or hidden under the floors or something like that. He would have overheard the conversation. That's how we would have known about it. But that doesn't happen in this film. It, 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 it's, it's circumstantial. And yeah, it, it doesn't work. In, in, in the way it should, I think. Um, it, it should it should be um, a Nathan Drake that's just about old enough to be an adult first adventure origin film, and it isn't that. And that's that's it. It, 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 it doesn't have that soul. It doesn't have that uncharted soul. It, it, it doesn't have the identity it should have, and that's a shame. It's a real shame. Um, there certainly could be, a, if it's successful, I think there probably will be a sequel. They, they, there's, a, there's, a, there's a mid credit scene which primes it ready for a sequel. And I just want to say this. The mid credit scene, which is maybe two or three minutes long, is better than the film. <laughs> it's better than anything in the film. Um, so if they take that and run, okay, fine. Let them do that. That'll be its own thing, its own what it needs to be with its own character in the right way. And I'm okay with that. But if they take it and decide that they want to just do something else entirely, it will, it will fail. And I feel more towards the fact that this film, although it does get some things right and some things feel like they are where they need to be, for the most part, I don't think it is. But like I say, that's as a fan of the film, as, as a fan of the games. If you've not seen it, and you want a action globe trotting adventure, you'll find it here. You will because it's new to you, and that's okay. <laughs>